Day three, St. Lawrence River. Caught back to back, biggest bags of smallmouth I've ever caught in my entire life. So I didn't know if we could top 25-10 on day one, but somehow we did. And if we top 27-12 today, that's gonna be crazy. But we're gonna try, you know? But the main thing is, it's gonna be tough to run. We got a shorter day. The wind's blowing a little bit harder. Just getting there is gonna be a chore. And then catch them and then get back. That's gonna be the biggest thing. Like making long runs through big water and we just gotta get there and get back. Kyle Welch, are you excited to get out there? I am, you know, you're always excited to be able to fish out here on St. Lawrence River in Lake Ontario. You're leading everything, big bass, you're leading the tournament, and two days to go. You want to win this title bad, don't you? Yeah, you know, definitely, but you, you said it right, there's still two days to go. All right, I'll let you get back. At the St. Lawrence River, two, one. Leave them out, your tournament leader, your progressive fast and all the It ain't even that big. Oh, we got us one. There's a good one. There's a good one. Take your time. Let that new comp drag work. Get up here, baby. Get up here. It is not ready yet. I'm gonna have to get ready. I think that's a five. Oh, big in, dude. Bleeding like crazy. Don't let us down. Don't let us down, number three. Starting to feel bigger. Oh my God, number three. That's a, gotta be another one over five. Easy there. Come on, girl. Dude, that's a freaking pie. Chill, 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 chill. Chill out. Yeah, baby. Yes. Dude. Mm. This one didn't need it that deep. It ain't a six, though. That ain't no dinker. And there was another one with it. 
Let that comp drag work. Dude. I ain't even seen it good. I saw just a glimpse of it. There it is. Ain't that big. Big enough for now though. Just over three. Oh my gosh, a big one. By itself. No, it ain't big big. It's over four though, I think. May have big eyed him a little bit. But that's okay right now. He's a pretty good one. Talk about running it down, dude. You ran him down or he ran no, he ran the bait down. He came up from the bottom, 22, and ate it like four feet under the surface. That ain't a baby. That ain't a baby. It spit up something huge. Don't spit nothing else up. I want you to weigh five pounds. It ain't gonna be five. That's the next step. It looks big. I can feel his teeth on my line. Just gotta stay in this zone, I think. No baby. Don't know if he's five, but it ain't no baby. Come over here, girl. Come over here. Mm -hmm. Show wheel. That is a big one. Stay on, baby. Stay on. I 
I don't think she's ready, but she's right here. So we're gonna try. God, it ain't as big as I thought. When it was jumping, I thought it was a big one. Gotta be bigger than one of them. There's a good one. There's a giant one. Biggest one of the day. It's bigger than one I lost. Trust your equipment, take your time. That sucker was just right at the boat and it's super hot. Oh, I thought he came off, he just rolled. My heart dropped. This is a giant one. Get tired, just get a little bit tired. It's under the boat now. Don't want him to jump. Look at that sucker, dude. Oh my gosh. That's a giant bro. How about a daggum giant? Woo, look at that one. Not bad for somebody that struggles with smallmouth, huh? We have got to be going tomorrow now. There's no way. Is that her? I guess so. She doesn't change colors that quick. Dude, oh my word. That way. There's one on a tag. Probably in the drawer over there. Yes! 
showing you what I saw. What? The yoga boat's there! Alright. Oh, Excuse me. Alright. Day three. A lot easier to run around out there on the lake today, but the fishing was a lot slower. And that's kind of typical. A lot of times whenever that wind's really blowing, it's hard to put your bait in front of a fish. But whenever you do show your bait to a fish, they really, really bite it whenever that wind's blowing. They just seem to like to bite whenever it's windy. But, you know, we had a slower day as far as numbers and bites and overall quality, but still ended up with a really solid bag. Should have over 25 pounds. We're kind of waiting to weigh in right now, but it was a fun day for sure. We got to expand and find a couple more areas also that there's fish on, so tomorrow will be fun. I don't remember. He was probably about two, three, four. When we went to Walmart, he wanted a fishing pole. That's all he ever really wanted. But he was so little that I didn't really know anything about like fishing myself or putting bait on or hook or any of that stuff. But he'd get the little fishing pole from Walmart with the little red stopper on it. And that's what would be on the pole. And we'd go right down here to Princess Bridge <laughs> and I'd pull her over on the side of the road and I'd sit on the bank and let him just throw it out and reel it in, throw it out and reel it in, throw it out and reel it in. For there was no way he was catching me. No way. He didn't know it. He just enjoyed throwing it out and reeling it in. <laughs> Going in like the boat when Kyle got his boat license when he was 12. So we could go out there. He was uh, he could drive us. He taught himself pretty much how to drive it, how to fish, how to do all of that. He pretty much taught himself. So we would go out with our picnics. I'd fix us a cooler and everything on, and go on that, what is it? He calls it the bandit. <laughs> so we would go out on that. Me and him and Matt and Ty and Kyle would be fishing. We'd all be just having a picnic on the boat and just having a good time playing in the water and stuff. And, and of course he was going to take us like under the bushes, around all these limbs and stuff in the very back of every creek that we could find. That's where he would take us until we done hit bottom and then he'd have to get out and push us all. It'd be like waist deep pushing, pushing that boat, trying to get us to where he wanted to fish. And then it got where he was older, you know, and he really had the talent. Like I could see that he was talented at fishing. You know, he would sit on the front porch and set a coffee cup all the way across the yard. And he would ring that coffee, that coffee cup with his lure. And I was like, I knew then, that's the first time I think that I really knew, like, he's got something nobody else has. I can't even put into words how proud I am. <laughs> as proud as you can possibly be. There is one, this one, this one was the only one in control of his own destiny coming into this event. Had a six point lead and progressed a fast master angler of the year points. In a tournament that everybody talks about being safe, he was anything but safe. He is a two time fast master classic qualifier. He's your current leader in progressive fast master angler in the year points from Alabama. Cobb finished 22nd place. He, you had six points on him. Started the day with 53 pounds and six ounces. Today, five fish needs 27 one to take the lead. 25 pounds, 15 ounces. He moves into second place in the tournament. And Stone Cold Kyle Welcher is your 2023 Progressive Bassmaster Angler of the Year. 79 pounds and 5 ounces. You have worked incredibly hard. You came into this event with all the pressure in the world. He had a slim six-point lead. And in an event where everybody talks about playing it safe to get into the classic, playing it safe to solidify their spot, you did anything but be safe. You were exactly who you are, Stone Cold Kyle Welcher. You drove out there on a day when many people said that you couldn't make it back. You are a Bassmaster Angler of the Year. How does that feel? I don't think it's really set in yet. I mean, 
I, I really can't even believe it's true just yet. But it's like you said, we had a very slim lead coming into this. I really came into this tournament thinking that AI, AOI still had to be won. And I wasn't going to do anything to lay up. I was going to take the big risk. And if it, I would rather lose taking a big risk and trying to win than, you know, to play it safe and lose. I'd never get over it. So I took the big risk, and that's definitely what saved my week this time. Well, the incredible League of Legends. You, let's hear it for him, ladies and gentlemen. The Bassmaster Classic gets a lot of hype. It's an incredible party. But if you ask the anglers, the number one trophy to win in this sport is a season-long battle. And you're still in this battle. You have a chance to win this event tomorrow. But for the rest of your life, you're a progressive Bassmaster Angler of the Year. Yeah, you know, I, I really can't believe it yet. But, um, I mean, that, that sounds good. You know, I, I look at some of the guys, some of the legends of the sport, you know, and... That's what, you know, like when you announce them, you still talk about their AOIs. You don't talk about, you know, how many wins they have and stuff like that. You talk about AOIs, and, I mean, that just shows how special this is. And, I mean, this is going to be my proudest moment in fishing for a long, long time, you know. Like, I'm, I just can't, I don't even know what to say right now. I can't believe it. You ready to make this official? Let's do it. Let's do it. To make this official, we'd like to bring out, end of his reign, a two-time progressive Bassmaster Angler of the Year, Brandon Polinick, to do the handoff. In 2023, the progressive Bassmaster Angler of the Year belongs to so cold Kyle Welcher. From a poker pro to the top of the sport, you gambled on yourself, and that gamble has paid off in spades. And man, I can't even believe you're still in this tournament. Most people are like, I'm going to party now. But I know you're already focused on getting the five biggest ones and doubling down with two trophies for the ride home. Let's go! Yeah, de definitely. Like, so I actually said, I said to my dad and to Hunter whenever I was a rookie, I said, I feel like I'm closer to winning an AOI than to winning a Bassmaster Elite Series tournament. I literally said that then whenever I was a rookie. And I mean, I can't believe the way that it's played out, but we got this one first, so now let's try to get the Elite Series trophy. As we know, as we know that no anglers are superstitious, of course, until it comes to competitive fishing. And you have a couple of lucky feathers in your boat. And I'm going to wish everybody, I hope you find the kind of love this guy's found. Because earlier this season, your wife Hunter chased those lucky feathers down the road to make sure they were back in your boat. You didn't do it yourself. Let's bring her out right now. Let's hear And so I would say you've already got the angler of the year. You're pretty close to becoming the lead series champion now. Well, I mean, if Patrick keeps catching 28 pounds, he's going to be hard to catch. But I, I'm around some really, really big ones, so hopefully we can, you know, do exactly that and, you know, at least make it interesting tomorrow because, I mean, I, if this feels pretty good, and, I mean, if we could do this again tomorrow, that'd be even better. i got to talk to you about one thing, and not this tournament, because I know how focused you're going to be on winning it, but to have this season, to back up, I mean, literally from the day you walked on the Elite Series, you have been a threat. From the first time I talked to you, I said, this dude is for real, and he's going to be for real for a long time. But after your, you know, a tough season the year before, your, the first speed bump you've hit in your career, how did you turn it around to finish on the top of the mountain the very next year? You know, I, I really don't even know. Like, it's not like there's any kind of, you know, special thing that I did this year. It's just like... I went into a bunch of tournaments this year with very little stuff from practice. And it's like every single time it's just better than I thought it was, you know. And it's just, it's very, very fortunate, very blessed year. And I mean, things just, it, it seemed like everything just kept working out whenever I needed it to. Sure did. And nobody could take that away from you for the rest of your life. One more time, ladies and gentlemen. Your 2023 Progressive Bassmaster Angler of the Year. Oh, maybe you've heard of this next guy. A former pro professional poker player made the ultimate gamble and joined the Bassmaster Elite Series. He is a two-time Bassmaster Classic qualifier. He is the 2023 Progressive Bassmaster Angler of the Year from Alabama, Stone Cold Kyle Walter. Today and only 10 remain. We still have to decide who our Dakota Lithium Rookie of the Year is. And of course, 
our main Kona Fast Master Elite Series Champion from the St. Lawrence River. It's going to be a showdown, a throwdown, a big fish mowdown. Make sure to follow the action all day long on FastMaster.com and jam these docks tomorrow morning at 7 a.m. One more time, Clayton, New York, let's hear it to your top ten. He's worked his whole life for it. He deserves it. Nobody works harder than him. I'm proud for him. Him and Hunter, they deserve it. They really do.